Keith goes back to it a lot. He he had okay. Sheldon had he been likes trying that. He'd he, been trying some different things and whatever. But I think he's getting to a point now where he's like, okay, if it's working, we're we're not we're gonna yeah. that we're doing that. That's what he, we're doing. He will pull Hyman off that line, and he'll throw him when they were down by a goal. He plays Hyman. He double shifts Hyman, which is crazy. Hyman's become like the star of the team, but he'll throw Hyman with with uh, Marner and Matthews to try to get something going. But he's he keeps going back to that third line, and I don't blame him for going back to that third line. It is it's clicking. Why fuck with it? Yeah. How many times do you get a third line? doing that much like normally third lines you don't even talk about them we're talking about this third line at every fucking podcast no i know well it's because of hyman really that is the truth but like it is because of hyman do you but think the, goose goose and mckayev are doing no i know but it's, be, it's, that be, line too. it's because it, it's because of hyman i'm sure but like well he's scoring what, what do you yeah. think okay simmons okay is the joe thornton experiment over with matthews and martyr i think it's a, i think it's oh you can't play him 20 minutes a night. So yeah, okay, can over. you but Simmons though? Do you, okay, did he, Simmons gives does Simmons open up a little more space for those guys? You would think he would. I right. honestly I think he played Simmons. I don't think Simmons is there for the long haul. I think he played Simmons there because Sutter kept trying to get Lucic on Matthews. Yeah. yeah. And I think Keith saw that. You saw the hits. Lucic mm-hmm. was laying on Matthews. I think he saw that and he put Simmons out there because Lucic might think twice about doing something dirty if Simmons is on the ice. I don't think he put that there as a strategy for future games. I okay, think so what do you think? Lucic. So what do you think he goes back to then? Simmons go, goes back to the fourth line and Joe goes back up, or what do you think? Uh, they How won, does- right? They won, so maybe he goes with the same lineup. He just he's been going with Thornton, Matthews, Marner for so long. I just can't see him going going away from it. Like I wouldn't have a problem with rotating, leave Hyman where he is and let that line do their thing. Maybe you rotate Thornton and and Simmons on that top line and so that they're yeah. not killing themselves both with fucking 20 minutes a night. No, you can knock them down and whoever's playing better plays more that night. Sure. Sure, and, then and the other guy gets more fourth line shifts. Exactly. Yeah, like I, I like that idea. You can start with Thornton there, and then put Simmons up, and that's a great idea to keep Hyman. Like you don't have to always throw Hyman up there. Keep no. Hyman where but he is. Keep that when you're down by there. a goal with five minutes left. Throw Hyman on both lines. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, honestly, they were better. He's he's scoring on probably the most consistent basis out of anybody on the team this okay. season. They pulled the goalie with seven minutes left in that one game. I think it was Winnipeg, right? Uh, or was well, it Ottawa? It was like six minutes left, but yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. Six and a half minutes. W- yeah, Winnipeg, I think. Okay. They did not give up an empty net goal in all those games, and they were pulling the goalie really early. Yeah. So it works, man. <laughs> Whatever they're doing, throwing Hyman up there on the top line when they yeah. pull the goalie, it works. It yeah, just no, works. you're right. Dude, the, Hyman, empty, man, the empty quick. nets, the empty nets got a better save percentage than Freddie Anderson. And yeah, well, fuck during Jeez. that stretch, it's crazy, man. Hyman killing penalties, scoring goals, like checking, be doing, contributing on whatever line they put him on. Dude, this guy, oh, it's, it's it's, it, I know it's going to be quite the uh, interesting offseason negotiation. Uh, fuck, I would just be talking to him. I'd pull him into a room right now and say, Zach, write a number down and tell me like what realistically you're going to need to stay here do you remember when babcock had him on that line and everybody wanted him off dude he's got yeah yeah, you remember when babcock played him with uh in the top on the top line and babcock was like well he gets he gets the puck he gets the goddamn puck okay i I, you know what i'll tell you this and everyone was like you're an idiot hyman's a he's a bottom six forward hyman was played really well under Babcock. He plays well every night, but I think his game has progressed oh. significantly under Sheldon Keith. You didn't see end end rushes. The move he pulled last night scoring his goal. That's not Hyman from 2020, like, but I okay. time in 2021. Do you, do you think Babcock in, in, you know, uh, in past practices was like, 
run in practices like trying to get Hyman the puck and wanting no. Hyman? No, but do you think Keith is like, hey, you obviously got some skills, so let's bring that out more? Like, yeah. it, I don't know. I think his game has like he, dude. He is like he was great before, but under Keith, he has been incredible, incredible. Yeah, and you would think that being put on the third line would be a demotion. But it's actually brought out more from Hyman. Yeah, I think he's cool it's playing. He, he, just, he does everything. He kills penalties. He's up and down the lineup. He's what he does fucking everything. 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 Obviously has a perfect size knob. This season, perfect size knob. Perfection. Right in the wheelhouse knob size. He knows exactly the right knob yeah. size. Exactly the right size for all occasions. He's got wrist, a very his wrist never ver- gets tired. Versatile knob. He's got the right size knob for all occasions. That's what she said. Uh Uh-huh.